Okay, so this time we're going to find the complex number in rectangular form, but they don't give us the complex number in polar form. They just give us some information. So it says find the rectangular form of the complex number given r is 13, and the tangent of theta is 5 over 12. Well, you can think about, you know, if you were to graph this, um, if you had some theta here, and you know the radius is 13, and you know that the y is 5, and the x is 12, because tangent is y over x, this isn't drawn to scale, um, you could set up a triangle that way. Now, you might have a question about, well, tangent's positive in the first quadrant, but it's also positive in the third quadrant. How do I know which one? I don't have a good answer for that. Um, I had the same question. And I didn't see, I'm just going to assume they meant to tell me that, oh, by the way, theta is in quadrant one. Uh, but we'll just, we'll just go with that. So now that we have that, um, we're trying to find the rectangular form, right? Okay, so R we know. And what else do we need to know? Oh, we need to know the cosine of um, theta and the sine of theta, right? Okay. So let's write this out. Z is equal to R cosine theta plus I sine theta. Okay, well, we know R is 13. They told us that. And we know the cosine. We don't know what theta is, but we do know the cosine is 12 over um, 13. And then we know the sine of theta is uh, 5 over 13. I, don't forget the I, and then if you're distributing the 13, you're going to get 12 plus 5I for the complex number. Okay, so there we go.